Ernesto, why did you have to be such a mean person? You were so talented, suave, and oozing with machismo. So when the first spell fell on you, I was shocked. The thing is, though, that you also, spoiler alert, murdered your best friend Hector and attempted to doom Hector's grandchild Miguel to the land of the dead. So when you ended up here, I didn't feel very bad when another bell fell on you. When I started to really think about what happened to you, I just couldn't pinpoint what your ending was going to be. Ernesto de la Cruz, did the bell bring you to the final death? Or are you still roaming the land of the dead? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. And today, I'm going to attempt to explain Ernesto de la Cruz's fate. If you'd like to learn more about Ernesto, I provided all of the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Pixar with me, make sure to subscribe and click that notification button. Although I'm sure that giant bell definitely hurt Ernesto, I do not think it brought him to his final death. The final death does not occur when a skeleton falls apart. It comes about when a soul is forgotten. When there's no one left in the living world who remembers you, you disappear from this world. We call it the final death. Unlike the human world where we rely on our physical bodies to tie us to reality, the land of the dead's inhabitants stay alive as long as they are alive in the memories of people in the land of the living. In truth, skeletons are actually extremely durable and possess the ability to always put themselves back together, which we see when Miguel bumps into Papa Julio. You're here, 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 and you can see us? And when Hector leaps off of a ledge to avoid the stairs. Keep up, Chamaco, come on! Thus, when Ernesto is crushed, he is not permanently destroyed. As long as he can exist in the minds of living people, this Pixar villain will continue to live on. Ernesto can survive within minds from his movies and the amazing popular songs he performed, but most of all, he will likely survive a long time because of people despising him. Let me know if you don't like Ernesto by commenting your favorite angry face below. You see, after Miguel returned from his adventure in the Land of the Dead, he learns Hector had sent a variety of letters to his daughter Coco over the time he was absent in her life. It turns out Coco saved all of these letters, which contained the lyrics to all of Ernesto's most popular songs, which proved Ernesto had stolen the music from Hector. The letters Hector wrote home for his daughter Coco contained the lyrics for all of your favorite songs. Not just remember me. Now, I'm really not sure if the world ever learned that Ernesto also killed Hector. But regardless, this Hector Ernesto scandal turned the public against Ernesto. In the course of a year, fans went from praising the musician. This very plaza, the young Ernesto de la Cruz took his first steps toward becoming the most beloved singer in Mexican history to absolutely despising him. Even going so far as writing on his burial, forget you. Of course, the irony of the situation is though, the more people hated Ernesto, the longer he would survive in the land of the dead. Eli Wiesel, a writer, professor, political activist, and Holocaust survivor once said, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. It doesn't matter if the public loves or hates Ernesto because it has the same effect for him. Our memories, they have to be passed down by those who knew us in life, in the stories they tell about us. Living individuals possessing positive or negative stories of Ernesto is unimportant because they are still memories, so he will keep living. And Lee Unkrich, the director of Coco, supports this thought process. When Unkrich was asked by at Emily Cranking and at an underscore equal society on Ernesto's fate and his existence after he was crushed by the giant bell in the land of the dead, he states Ernesto is not permanently dead and that he is actually permanently disgraced. So if Ernesto was not destroyed by the second bell and he is not going to be forgotten anytime soon, is there any real justice at the end of Coco? Yeah, there actually is. Coco is a wonderful story that ties up loose ends pretty nicely. Just one of the reasons Coco captured my heart. Ernesto may continue to live in the land of the dead, 
but he won't be well off. See, Ernesto relied on his dedicated fans to provide him with luxuries. All of this came from my amazing fans in the land of the living. They leave me more offerings than I know what to do with. Without fans loving him, he's going to lose everything. His plaza, his sunrise service, his food, his guitars, his parties, everything. Ernesto may not be fading into oblivion, but he has to survive for the foreseeable future with constant reminders of his shame and nothing to show for everything he did to seize his moment. Ernesto de la Cruz was a massive star with a dark side that was finally revealed to the world in the events of Coco. The last time we see him in Coco, we see his skeleton body crushed by a massive bell, and that may have hurt, but it didn't end his existence. In fact, his existence will likely live on for many years to come. In truth, the only way to be removed from the land of the dead is to be forgotten. But because of Ernesto's treachery, he was going to live within people's stories for the foreseeable future. But although he may be able to live on, because of his disgrace, he will lose his fortune, his friends, and his dream of being remembered as the greatest musician to have ever lived. Oof, that ended pretty dark. But if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed discussing Ernesto, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more Magical Coco videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So now it's time for the question of the day sponsored by my patrons. Do you think Ernesto lives within the land of the dead with nothing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.